What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody. What do you say? What do you know? F-O-T-L. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Dollar bills, dollar bills, dollar bills. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so this sold out on the Dutch auction at $16.25. Uh, I caught it at the bottom. After tax, it's close to an $1,800 box. No way I'm pulling $1,800 out of there, but we're going to try anyway. Uh, yeah. These also, uh, I think, uh, you know, I don't know why they're that expensive. Optic and Prism, which are higher end products, went for less. Uh, so maybe because we're closer to the season, I don't know. Uh, I suspect, well, Blowout had cases of them on sale for $30,000 the very next day. So I guess they're, maybe they're controlling that market, right? Bought them all up uh, at two grand and sell them for three. Uh, so there we go. Uh, first off the line, we did open this last year. You can see uh, one of the orange pulse, Pulsar RPAs we pulled last year out of our box. XRCs are live. Uh, they're not mystery, even though the box is labeled that. Uh, or maybe there is mystery, mystery prism autographs. I don't know. Uh, but the XRCs are live in this box this year. Uh, 10 silver prisms. There's the checklist for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. And uh, yeah, XRCs and mysteries, same, same stuff on the other side, nothing special. Let's, let's get zoom, zoom, zooming on it. Uh, and so first off the line, uh, Select will have one neon orange Pulsar RPA, as you see there in the back. It will have one additional autograph, which I've already seen, uh, you know, 90% of them are probably gonna be Austin Hooper or the like. Uh, so I think we actually pulled an Austin Hooper auto last year. I was pretty upset about. Uh, right, got nice and lots of juice on that one. Uh, so also one mem card, one FOT par parallel neon orange pulsar, number to seven, or the SSP Tiger Prism. Four additional prism parallels, hopefully those are numbered, numbered. Ten silver parallels and six inserts. And there are some inserts that are specific to hobby this year. I think there's three, at least three, uh hobby specific inserts uh and so yeah you got the tie dyes in here all kinds of good stuff love it let's get to it 12 packs five cards per pack yes sir wow what do you got on the do you have the hobby uh specific inserts there chuck uh no i thought you asked me to have the box breakdown and then you just read through it all yeah it was actually the vice versa but no <laughs> no doubt chuck <laughs> Hobby parallels, blue prism, purple prism, that kind of stuff? Uh, no, there's the inserts. There's there's like three inserts that are hobby exclusive. It's up towards the top at Cardboard Connections. Oh, uh, Phenomenon is a hobby exclusive insert. Okay. Firestorm debuts in hobby boxes as well. Oh. And hobby boxes uh, includes an all new color wheel. Oh, yeah, that'd be a nice one to get. So we got a silver in this pack. Uh, there's Javante Williams. And who was that? That was a rookie card of... Zach Dawson. I do not think we've pulled a Zach Dawson this year. Who's Zach Dawson? I don't know, but we got a... Oh, that's a nice... Does he have a creek? Uh, he might. <laughs> it might be his creek. Uh, and we might be up it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a nice little uh, tricolor Ramondre Stevenson there. Uh, and let's see. that. Oh, that is numbered out of 199. Number 53 of 199. And that is the premier level, as you can see there. Let me sleeve that up right quick. Ramondre, uh, followed by the silver Dan Marino. Uh, let's check this one out. This is the club level. So that's the club level. And I did do some math. I shot it out on Twitter. Uh, the 400 card base set, uh, the parallels, numbered parallels increased by 7%. This year over last, as far as I can tell, assuming Cardboard Connection's uh, initial uh, initial checklist was correct. But yeah, so 7% increase in the numbered parallels. Uh, who knows about the rest of the stuff? And that's just in the base, not the inserts. Right? Oh, we got our orange already. Is that an orange? AP, Des Fitzpatrick, and a Travis Etienne Jr. That is not the Pulsar. Uh, that is an orange Etienne, numbered out of 49, numbered 6 of 49, on the concourse level. 
So again, select, there is four levels, uh, concourse, premier, club, and field level. Uh, and they have a smaller checklist as they go up, right? Or they're a little more rare as you get to field levels the highest. Six out of 49. There we go. Uh, more hobby choices include artistic selections, future franchise, sensations, and snapshots. And there is a field level silver Bobby Wagner in the wrong uniform. Uh, by some accounts, I'm sure. Uh, Tillinwalls, I guess if you're a Seattle fan, it's the right, it's the right, uh, right one for you. How about them Seahawks last night? Uh, yeah, you mean how about them Bears? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was too funny, and all the officiating could, the crew could do is talk bad about the Bears, because that's what they planned about doing, right? Like, <laughs> Kylan Granson, Kadarius Tony. oh, what do we got here? Ooh, that's a nice one. Sensations, TJ Watt. Look at the colors on that. That is a good looking card. Oh, Sensations is a hobby. Uh, more hobby choices include Sensation. Oh, yeah, so I don't know if that means it'll be in Prism and we're trying to trick you or if it's. Uh, or you if mean it's, retail? Or, yeah, in retail, yeah, or if it's just in hobby. It is the Prism, but not numbered. Uh, good looking card, TJ Watt for the Steelers. Uh, Tylen Wallace, rookie on the club level, Prism. And bruh, 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 Brett Favre, got to have Green Bay quarterbacks in all of our... Oh, this one's chunky. Should I wait on that one? I should wait on that one. I don't know if it's the mem, though. I might be tricking myself. Should be two autos and one mem. Uh, let's see. Rookie, Tony Gonzalez, not a rookie. And there it... Oh, yes, sir. 28 out of 75, Jamar Chase with a thumbnail napkin in a $2,000 box. Uh, that is a good looking card. The rest of it, though, if you'd have done something with the patch, that'd have been, or made it a patch. 28 out of 75. Oh. Yeah. So, there we go. That's nice. Nice guy to hit on your mem. I mean, heck, I'm happy with that. Like I said, it'd be cool if that, that patch was just a little bit, you know, some color or something. Uh, there we go. Amon Ross St. Brown on the silver. Uh, and that is the concourse level. That's nice. And Mike Evans on the field level base with no prism shimmy shine. It doesn't look really good uh, on this design without a prism shine to it. Like, I'm not real... Super impressed. But yeah, it, it just doesn't have the, it doesn't pop super well, right? Uh, not like optic or, or prism. They just, you know, they look good. Uh, oh, this might be the orange. Oh, we got a tiger. We, oh, we got oh, a tiger. So in, in place of your neon orange pulsar numbered to seven? Yes. So let me go from the back here. There is a Christian Barmore field level rookie. And then we got a silver Rondale Moore Cardinals, and that is uh, Concourse. Silver for the Rondale Moore. Oh, we got purple. Purple. Kellen Mond. Oh, it's a Ram. Oh, Jacob <laughs> Harris. You and Jacob Funk. You and Jake Funk are the bane of my existence. Jacob Harris, Tiger. Uh, I mean, at least it's a rookie, but... But man, oh my! Uh, that had huge potential. Uh, again, could have been worse. Could have been, uh, uh, you know, Austin Hooper. So there we go. That's a tiger. We'll take it. Uh, moving along here, and I'm taking my sweet time opening these up because, well, they're thirty dollars plus a card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Najee Harris, literally. And that's not. That's actually more than that. Uh, if you do the math, Zeke. And a rookie selections, Sam Ellinger. That is not a hobby exclusive, right? No. Not a hobby exclusive. Sam Ellinger and a Najee Harris. Nice. That's a that's a good looking card on the prism. Uh, followed by a Jamar Chase. And that is the premier level, which is also what Najee is going to be here. So getting some pretty good rookies out of it. Not too shabby. Uh... Select used to be hobby only, uh, so, you know, a $1,600 box might bring a lot more value 
Do you um, think that's why it still went high? I mean, it doesn't make sense, but well, I think it's people. I think it's the big guys trying to control the market. Quite honestly, if you, blowout controls prices across the internet, so if you can buy it all up at a certain price and you control the market, and nobody else will price it lower than you anyway, you can buy it at any price to make sure you get all of it and control the market. That's again, that's not fact based. That's just my gut and you know what I feel about it. Well, there we go. Trevor Lawrence. Opinions stated by Eddie are Eddie's and Eddie's alone and yeah. only reflect those of Silver Sport. Trevor Lawrence, rookie selections, again, would look a lot better. Chuck agrees, too. Yeah, would look a lot better with some shimmy shine. Uh, and there we go. Speaking of Kellen Mond, there he is. So our second auto will be Kellen Mond. I can't complain about that. Uh, it's not uh, the tight end from Cleveland. It is Kellen Mond on a nice-looking card there. Kellen Mond out of 75, 19 out of 75. Oh, uh, so I called the Kellen Mond then, huh? Rookie selections, maybe? RS? Yeah, you did call the Kellen Mond, actually, Chuck. Uh, we'll save that at the end for, for looking over. There's a Marquise Brown vet. And we still got five packs to go. Give me oh, something my. good. Come on, baby. Big money. No whammies. Devontae Smith. Oh, we got some color in here. Uh, Mark Ingram, oh, Emir Smith Marset. Uh, what is this one? Out of 149, 132 of 149, Emir Smith Marset for the Vikings. That would be the maroon parallel. No, it's a. Bl it looks like a blue checkerboard. Oh. Or a purple, yeah, a blue checkerboard is what it looks like. Yeah, out of 149. Uh, I'm just reading off the list here. It says out of 149 is maroon. Yeah, it's pre premier level. Oh. So that blue. might have some, some impact on it. Carson. That is blue. Base premier level set is blue. Oh, so it's like doubled up then. Yeah. Oh, my. Carson Wentz on the silver. Yeah, so they can, yeah, it's still 400 cards with parallels for all of them, right? <laughs> Kyle Trask, rookie. Oh, my. And we got a chunky one here, so that's got to be our RPA. So we'll save that one for last. And see what we can get here in between. Uh, Richie Grant for the Falcons. We got something red in here. TJ Watt. Uh, and that is the club level. I'm just trying to get used to the levels. I'm, I'm sure once we get to the retail, I'll be able to pick them out. But uh, first box. Zach Davidson. Another guy I don't think we've pulled, Chuck. Who's Zach Davidson? Uh, oh, I think we actually pulled him in this box. That is 7 out of 99, Zach Davidson for the Minnesota Vikings. Consensus oh, to all uh, What? Fifth round? Fifth round pick out of uh, Webb City, Missouri. Attended Webb City High School. Kylan Hill, silver, and a James Robinson flat base. Oh, he's a punter. He what? was originally a backup tight end on Web City's JV squad, but became the punter for the varsity team after their regular punter was suspended. Oh, is he a punter for the for the Vikings now? Uh, no, it's a tight end. Oh, there's Davis <laughs> Davis Mills, rookie. Oh, and there we go. Another Sensations. This one does not have the prism shine and does not look nearly as good as the previous one. Uh, yeah, because it's not a prism. Uh, I mean, it's a sixteen hundred dollar box. God forbid you put some shine on all these inserts, right? Like, uh, so folks, go ahead and when you're gonna buy singles off of eBay, uh, make sure there's there's a picture of the back of the card and it says Prism on it if you want the shiny one. Yes, one hundred. Uh, and again, you you can usually tell the difference, but if somebody takes a bad photo, you might not be able to look for that Prism on the back. Uh, okay, two packs left, including our big daddy, and we got. One auto and our SSP already. Jalen Waddle, Josh Allen. Oh, and what do we got here? Kenny Pickett, quarterback. What oh, is this? An XRC? What is this? That is the XRC, which we did not talk a bunch about, but I don't think that's one per box. Those are rare hits, and that's a good one. Yes, sir. XRC Kenny Pickett. That is a good one. Uh, that's about as good right now at this current time as you could probably pull on an XRC. Yeah, because there's Desmond Ritter, Malik Willis. Yeah, 20 cards. Is it a prism parallel? No, it's not numbered. It's not numbered, but it's prism. Yeah. Oh, nice. Kenny yeah. Pickett. X. That is our first 
XRC. Oh no, that's not true. I pulled a Nick Bosa XRC out of a 2019 box, I think, or 2018. Yeah. Uh, but that is nice. Uh, yes, we will go back to that at the end. Okay, so this box is looking up. Not too bad. I might be able to get half my money back. Antonio Gates on the silver. Uh, I don't know about that much, boss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I might be overshooting just a little. Ken A. Nwongwe will bring in 99 cents. Uh, here we go. Chunky pack. Last pack mojo. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, please smack a like uh, in honor of my $1,800 box. And if you're watching, please smack that thumbs up and let's get this thing going. Uh, Chuba Hubbard, Ryan Tannehill, Devontae Adams, on this, that looks like the snapshots. Uh, Pat Fryermuth, can't go a box without him. That's good. Get that Kenny Pick it up on eBay. And there is, uh, get that Kenny, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, JRS SFE. Oh, you semi fahokoed me. <laughs> oh, but look at that. Look at that patch. Oh, my. Simi fahokoed me on the first off the line. Oh, RPA. Wow. Uh, you know, I guess I got an XRC and a, and a Tiger. They can't give me too much. I'm going to get it. Let me get a thicker sleeve here. Hold on. Sleeve him up proper. I don't want to damage Simi and his chunky patch. Uh, yeah, so that's a 130-point card. That is 21 out of 25. Uh, oh, Simi Fogo. And a uh, $2,000 box, not from any specific game or event. So there you go. Uh... Bingo, bango, bongo, semi fahoko. There again. That's why people are paying so much for the FOTL. You get a patch like that, and a, and a, and one of those out of or for Mac Jones, you're in the money. Uh, so there we go. And that brings me to another point. While I review this here, again, nice box. Uh, I did see on Instagram that Backyard Breaks pulled the orange pulsar parallel for basically every big rookie and Tom Brady before it was even released to everybody else. So. <coughs> Uh, so already, I don't know how much they broke. I don't go watch their channel, but I did see on Instagram, uh, that there was like, they had 10 orange pulsar prisms of all the QBs, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Tom Brady. Uh, so, and they're only numbered to seven. So if, if there was any, if there, if we wanted to add some more credence to the, to the, uh, you know, the suspicions that, that, that boxes are sent to certain people early, uh, with intent of marketing, there we go. XRC. Uh, then draw your own conclusions. You know, could just be me and my tinfoil hat. I don't know. Zach Dawson on the red. Amir Smith on that. Kellen Mond on the autograph. And a snake skin or tiger, sorry, tiger prism of Jacob Harris. I hope he breaks out and rushes for a thousand yards this year. Uh, that would be great. But cool to get a rare. That's the first tiger prism I've ever pulled, not out of like a silver or gold pack or whatever, right? But. So not too bad. I think there was uh, one or two other parallels in there, possibly. There you go. 30 bucks a card. I would say that's a pretty good box, and I'm still probably not getting 50% back of my money. So, but again, hey, it's still fun to rip, right? The chance was there. There was definitely potential. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.